What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you know when new videos come out. And if you would, give this video a thumbs up. Also, there are links to the Discord and Twitter down in the description below if you'd like to join up over there and get involved as well. All right, so we're just taking a look at the 2.0.29 update that we've got for GeForce Now. This was announced in last week's news and I told you guys uh, as these rolled out, I would make videos on them as well as the Metro Exodus Enhanced PC Edition, enhanced edition for PC that'll be coming out in a day or so as well. So with this update, what we get are, of course, more bug fixes and tweaks and things like that. We get the connecting to the Epic account in here. Uh, so what they're working on is this single sign-in feature. So we've added a new single sign-in on feature for Fortnite. Now you can play the game without having to log in to your Epic Games account every time you want to launch a new Fortnite session on GeForce Now. Um, PC, Mac OS, and Chromebook users can check the My Library row for a notification to connect your store accounts to GeForce Now. I'm going to show you that here in just a second. It's very similar to how you connect your Steam account, but this is turning on uh, a little bit different thing because we've also got the preloading. So uh, we're also testing a new feature called preloading, which starts loading parts of Fortnite before you arrive so that your game launch times will be faster. So this isn't going to just be for Fortnite. They're testing this for more games. It's going to be rolling out for more games where there will be like preloaded sessions ready for priority or founders members to jump on and it'll help with those times. So the two things that are going to help with loading times uh, that they're working on now is this rollout of the single sign on and also the preloading. Those two things combined are really going to streamline the experience. Now, the other thing we've got in this update, uh, which was also talked about during the news, but I can now show it to you, is the improved search results. And a lot of people weren't sure what that meant. What did it mean that we were getting improved search results? So instead of just a little tiny list that would drop down, you get a full page in alphabetical order while you're typing. And I'm going to show you that as well. And we've also got the browser app in-game overlay. So I'm going to bring up the browser app here in just a minute. I'll show you. We've got the update over over there as well and you can activate that with control G or command G depending on your operating system and device there and that'll bring up for your overlay which is very handy uh, for all kinds of different uh, features and filters and things like that uh, let's see here Ch -ch -ch -ch, book fixes all right so you can look over this more if you want uh, definitely when you update go ahead and read through this and see what the notes are but we went over most of them there so let me go over into my settings and here is the Epic Games right here. So I'm already linked. You can always disconnect. And then I have the uh, uh, Steam right here, which you can resync and connect right in there. And then, of course, we've got our settings uh, in here. So definitely, this is where you'll be able to find that. Let's go back over to Games. Now, I'll go ahead and start searching. So let's say I want to find Fortnite, for example. I start typing Fortnite. And here you can see right here. And on top of that, it alphabetical, well, I guess not all of them. It started off with a couple of the alphabetical Fs that I was bringing up, and then it was just kind of all over the place. Earlier, it seemed like it was more alphabetical, but you can start typing for things. Uh, let's type in Metro because we're going to be doing Metro Exodus. You'll see all those start to, to pop up here. So that's pretty cool as well. So this is just a lot quicker, a lot easier way to find what you're looking for. I really like this full page search result. We've been wanting UI improvements, and this is just one way uh, that they're doing that there. So uh, now I've got this set up here. So let's just go ahead and launch. So Fortnite should be one of the quick launch games. This actually has been out for Fortnite for a little while now, um, but I haven't personally tested it. I've seen other people try it out. Uh, so with everything connected in this update done, let's give that a shot. So I'll click play. And I'm curious to see what's going to happen once we get loaded up here. How does it bypass the the Epic Game Store login or that preloaded session? Also, with Fortnite being so popular, I may not grab a preloaded session even as a founder because um, you got to figure they have to have those instances already taking up server space. Oh, there you go. All right, that was a lot faster. It skipped the entire login screen and also was ready to bring up loading me into the game that right there was way faster than uh way faster than a normal game launch if you're familiar with geforce now you know how quick that just was bypassing the login for epic and then going right into the game so it was so two things were in effect right there the um the the auto sign in the no longer having to sign in every time or or go through that screen at least because i didn't have to sign in each time but i did have to go through that screen um and then also the preloaded session those two things together 
uh, will get you into games faster. Now, Fortnite is a little bit notorious for taking quite a while to load after you choose where you're going. I've had that issue with multiple devices. I've complained about it before. But um, yeah, really cool. That was fast. I can't wait to see this feature roll out to more games, especially ones that I play. And that will be that will be great. Let's see if the Control G works in this game. It does. So on the app, you can see what we've got here. And we're going to go do this on the browser. So let's let's actually get out of here. Let's end this session. All F4 anytime if you if you're not already familiar. We'll quit out of that session. That way it's not holding me in suspend. I don't I, I want to launch in again from the browser just like we do. I'm gonna close the app and we're gonna bring up browser. Here you go. I've got the same update. All right, same exact update going on that we just went over for the app. Yes, I know downloading is, is good. And then for me personally, the app does work better, but I do know for some people the browser works better. So try both and see which one works for you. They work the same. See right here, we've got games and settings just like I do on the app. Same everything set up here. So it's, it's the same thing. It's a web app. It works the same way. And here's our search. We'll do the same thing. Let's hit Fortnite. And I'm only doing Fortnite because that's the only game right now supporting the, the quick load. So I can show you. So here's our search again in browser, just like in the app. I really, really like this a lot more. And let's do play again. And it should be identical. This should be uh, just like what happened on the, on the app should happen here on the browser. So we get loaded up here. If I grab another preloaded session, that is. So let's see. It'll be interesting as this feature rolls out more and more um, if we run into issues like how many how many preloaded sessions are available. But this is really cool. This is going to really streamline things. It feels like it's taking a little longer. There we go. Because uh, on the app, it always does, or on the browser, it always does this, your rig is ready. That's just, I don't know. It does that. It doesn't do it in the app. But there you go. A preloaded session again. Skip the login screen. Again, much, much faster to get in. And that's impressive. That That is really good. That's going to be a great feature as they as they add that to more games. Um, having Epic Steam and hopefully Ubisoft to where you don't have to do the login every time and then also combining that with these preloaded sessions. I think this is a great look for GeForce Now. That's, that's pretty impressive. All right, let's try. We're in the browser. Let's try the Control-G. There it is. Okay, but what am I getting here? I'm only getting microphone right now. Uh, heads up display. Let's see here. Notifications, privacy. Ch -ch -ch. Uh, open and close. So I'm not seeing any other options. In the app, we had a lot more options. So right now, we only have full screen, quit Fortnite, and microphone at the moment for this game. I'm going to launch a different game and see if, see if maybe there's one that brings up the filters. I didn't expect there to be recording like there is in the app where you can record to your PC because I don't think they've got that kind of a link set up yet. So let's let's quit out of that and let me grab a different game. Oh, let's see. When I know I've used filters in before without a problem. Darksiders Genesis. I made a whole video on using the filters and the overlay with this game. So I know on the app, um, all the features work. So let me bring it up. Now this will be a little bit different. Um, there shouldn't be a preloaded session for, for, for this. So our rig is ready. Yeah. See, we, we've got the typical steam load in. So this is the difference where we could skip that part. That was still quick though. Cause I'm already logged in. Uh, we're still going though. Yeah. So this is the difference between being able to skip that login and uh, and having a preloaded session, you can see it's it's going to take longer for it to bring up my game. There it goes. All right. So no preloaded session, of course, and still had to go through that login. It was auto. I didn't have to retype sign in, but it still was that screen. It still took a little bit of time. But even at that, that's much faster than what it used to be. They've been shaving time off of those kind of loading uh, types through the login, and it, it is showing. Um, that was faster than what I used to get, but it's still not the same as skipping the sign in and it's not the same as that Fortnite experience that we just did. So control G again for here and yeah, same thing microphone. So we're going to need more options. I don't, this is it for the overlay right now. And I don't know 
That's it. We don't have a lot of options. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm sorry if this video gets a little longer than I than I had intended. Actually, I'm going to leave that up. And we will um, we'll toggle full screen. We'll exit full screen. And we'll close the browser altogether. I'm going to see if it'll leave that game session up for me so it'll be faster. So let's open our app back up. And let's launch Darksiders, and I'll show you the difference. Because if it's only microphone right now, and they're not even allowing the filters on the browser, that is a little bit disappointing. Because I was just using all of the filters and the recording capabilities on the app. All right, so here's my session. So that was a good example, too. If you have a session up of a game already, and you just don't close, you don't exit that session, you just close out on your device and move to another one, you have 15 minutes or so that you can just jump device to device. And a lot of people don't talk about that with GeForce now, uh, but it is a feature that's there that you can just jump. I could exit this app and go jump on the Shield TV or on my phone, and this would still be going. It's, it's great. Uh, but all cloud has it. Luna, GeForce Now, Stadia, they all have state uh, holding, you know, where they keep going. So let's control G. Now here is our overlay in the app. Here's my recording options. You can set up for instant replays. I can take screenshots. We've got game filters that we can go in here and I've done a video on all of these sharpen is one that everyone knows I love because it helps with soft uh, some of the games that have soft image but yeah this this is the overlay I was expecting and we're only getting microphone on the browser so I'll keep an eye on that and see if that changes but for me that's pretty disappointing I thought we could at least get screenshot and and if not that at least game filter and and microphone but uh, I don't know we'll uh We'll have to see how that pans out. Maybe they're going to be adding more features to that, but uh, that was the first time me looking at it. That was a little bit disappointing to only have the toggle in and out of full screen and the microphone, but it is a start. So, all right, guys, we're going to leave it at that, I believe. That's kind of what's going on. That's that's the browser. That's the app. That's the features. That's the quick loading. That's skipping the login screen with Epic there and getting right into Fortnite. Um I showed you the overlay on both the browser and the app. You can see the app is still king uh, for playing the games. It's king for the overlay, for the filters, for being able to record snapshots, instant replays, all that kind of stuff. Let's hope they figure out how to bring more of those features into the browser because right now it looks like uh, with those two games anyway, all we had was a microphone and uh, it should. I was thinking at least those the uh, the filters would be there for the sharpening in the browser. It would make some of the games uh, look pretty cool. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for coming to watch. I really appreciate it as always. And like I said, if you haven't already, subscribe, ring the bell, thumbs up. Leave me your comments down below. And again, I really appreciate it. Thanks again. I'll see you in the next one.